Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing another redesign video, so let's just jump right on in. First things first, we got a submission from Ember on my Discord server. The character's name is Lightstorm, pronouns she slash her, and the things I was told to keep were just the red in the main. The personality for this character is kinda badass, rude, and doesn't show her feelings even though she does want friends, so I can work with that, definitely, definitely. Apparently she used to be Princess Cadence's sister, but that's kinda dumb, apparently, according to them, uh, and she was the Princess of Weather, so obviously that's a bit cringe. I had to tackle this one, it looked so fun. So it is my pleasure to introduce your new OC, Dahlia Storm, which this is the first time I've done this, but I did attempt a rename for their character like a sing the name kind of thing. I just thought Light Storm was kind of basic and boring and not great. So um, I, I happened to be watching this video about like famous like serial killers and stuff and Dahlia, like it, I was listening to the Black Dahlia story and I was like, Dahlia would be such a pretty first name for this character. So I'm suggesting Dahlia Storm. You don't have to keep that, but I personally love it. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to lean out of the edge. Like this character is very edgy. It's got the black black coat and the red hair and it's just like very angry. I didn't want to like completely leave that. I just wanted to sculpt that into something that was still edgy but wasn't jarring I think is the way I want to phrase this. So I definitely stuck with the kind of like badass, rude personality, like introvert kind of deal. And as much as I wanted to move away from the red and black palette, I ultimately couldn't. You'll see that in the final product. I did manage to show some other colors in there so that the design isn't purely red and black and edgy, which is great, but it's still red and black design. But I, oh, it's so good. I love this design so much. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Whew. Anyways, so originally the character was an alicorn. I decided to make them a unicorn, but I wanted to keep the wing in there, right? So I gave them a letterman jacket with these little bat wings uh, attached to the back. They're not functional in any way, but they are, you know, reminiscent of the old alicorn personality. So I thought that was just a really cute touch. Along with the letterman jacket, I also gave them a small, like, suspender thingy that, like, attaches to the pockets. I just thought it was a cute accessory. And a body harness, like, that starts at the neck and then kind of connects around the chest and stuff. You can't see it uh, because the jacket mostly covers it up, but I think it's super cute. I love this character so much. Because they are a pony, I also decided to give them a new cutie mark. I think, yeah, the old cutie mark, I had to go look at it. The old cutie mark, not good. It's it's so bad. It's I know she's supposed to be like the princess of weather, but like, no. <laughs> Uh, so the new kitty mark I gave her, she's still a weather-ish kind of bitch. I don't know what her profession would be because like weather ponies are typically pegasi, but I made her a unicorn. It's up to you to figure out. But I gave her a really cute like psychedelic sun with these like yellowed out clouds as a cutie mark. I think it works fantastically with the palette and I think it's a great cutie mark. I think you should definitely keep it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have too much to say about what I did. Like I said, I just took the edginess of the character rounded it out and made it a little less like 2010, 12 deviant art. I don't know what year, but you, you guys know what I'm talking about. I loved working on this little edge lord. I hope you love them just as much as I do. And if you don't, dead ass, hand them over. Okay, because I would love to have this OC myself. Next up, we have a submission from Westerio, I think is how you pronounce that, and this is an old OC of theirs named Lava Lamp. Their pronouns are he slash him, and they are a shy, fluffy salamander. Um, they're very introverted, and they wanted me to keep some Lava Lamp-like things in the design. So when I looked at this character originally, I didn't actually see Lava Lamp. Um, I saw the idea of Lava Lamp, but I didn't see Lava Lamp, which is a shame. Um, so I really wanted to tackle this because like it was mentioned in the submission that they had done nothing with him because of his design so i was like oh i can fix this shit watch this shit and oh i love him so much so first of all to take a step back i also came up with a new name for this guy because i didn't think lava lamp was a great name so may i suggest lava lars like lars is his name but like lava lars it's you know it's just a suggestion you don't have to take it i just thought it was uh cute um 
working with this one's colors was actually really hard. You'll see that in the footage. I was having a hard time balancing out everything while keeping the design reminiscent of the first one. I changed like a good amount of it to the point where I was worried it was going to be unrecognizable as the same character. So I knew I needed to keep the uh, skin tone as a like green, but I didn't like the red lava lamp actually because when I think lava lamp, I don't think red. I typically think of blues or purples or pinks, um, not reds. So I ended up going with a blue purple gradient lava lamp and oh, I'm so happy with what I did. So you wanted me to incorporate lava lamps, right? So I put a bulb at the end of the tail as like a little lava lamp sphere. And then the horns are little lava lamps with those little caps that go on top of lava lamps on top of them. That, that's what those are. I don't know if that's clear in the design, but like those little caps that go on top. Oh, it's so good. And then the claws, um, which I didn't know if this character was supposed to have claws because the original design, the, like the hands were hidden behind the back, which like no no shade there. I get that completely. But I gave I gave him claws because I thought, they looked so cool. Oh, they're so they're so cute. The claws are little lava lamps too. And um, I made the body shape of the character kind of reminiscent of that like typical lava lamp shape. So he's got like the the sweater. I, I suppose it's a dress, but I'd say sweater vest over anything else. I don't know. It's just a very long sweater like outfit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I also gave him a few accessories such as the like the original design had these little like tie things around the horn and around the top of the uh, what I assume is a bandana. So I put the ties at the back of the sweater vest thingy and the uh, little little tie up by the lava lamp horn just to kind of tie that into the original design. I also gave him a little like pipe um, just because so something about this character to me read like kind of like stoner smoker kind of chill vibes especially with the introverted personality I thought that it fit kind of the character of like like oh I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm not an introvert but I'm like so cool I can't be a part of like the average conversation so I kind of took the introverted like scared of conversations and took it the other way like he's too cool for conversations you know what I'm talking about which like still means he's introverted he's obviously got anxiety which you know whatever um but I just took that in a slightly different direction so that it wasn't too basic sick especially because i work with <laughs> later in the video you'll see i work with another character who's got anxiety and it's like oh my god so you got to diversify a little bit so yeah uh, i changed up the markings on the body just because the original design didn't have a great direction with the markings it just looked like splotches of light green dark green and then the main green which is fine but not super detailed i didn't think it looked very good so i changed it to these um very deliberate stripes and made the um, bits on his like lower paws, his little feet, that dark green. I made his hair dark green. I liked the ponytail you had in the original one, so I definitely had to keep that. Um, I just cleaned that up a little bit. And you know what? I don't have much else to say. This is a fantastic design. The colors, like I said, were super hard to like pick out and match with each other because I wanted everything to look clean and like it all belonged in the same character but i got there eventually and i love this little guy and i hope you love him just as much as i do next up we have a submission from km and their character's name is km this is a persona of sorts the character pronouns are she they and their current personality is a horror loving character with a strange talent of summoning random cats like scp 294 which i know nothing about the scp universe i've been told i'd be really into it but i've had a hard time getting into it that's not a hero nor there but cool fact nonetheless they prefer to be alone and dabble into whatever horror is around um i was told to keep the skull motif on the character and the scion and purple split hair. So I knew I had to tackle this character because of, I don't want to say how basic they looked, but something about them like really inspired me. And I think honest to God, it was the horror thing because I'm a big horror buff myself. I have a video planned out soon to come out about like my experience watching the conjuring movies for the first time god the conjuring movies are so fucking funny anyways km focus so here's how i changed the design so i thought the outfit was like really basic and i wanted to change it and i wanted to make it little a little more represent representative representative thank you oh my god representative of the personality so you're a horror fan right so i gave you 
um oh my god not jason freddy's shirt so freddy from um friday the 13th he's got like the red and black striped shirt so i gave you a cropped sweater with one of the sleeves um kind of cut from the main one to like uh be reminiscent of like you know those like that classic like slash a slasher vibe where like it slashed the arm and then it like fell do you know what i'm talking about so it's technically all the same shirt but i just wanted that separation there to be like oh it got cut off even though that's the purposeful design of the outfit i just thought that was a really neat touch if you get what i'm talking about then i'm sure you think it's neat too for the pants i didn't do anything like super obvious with references i knew i wanted them to be these cute high-waisted bell-bottom pants and i knew that like a dark red would really suit them so i made them a dark red I made these three little buttons on the front of the pants the skulls that are golden and then I gave this one <laughs> Reminiscent to the first one. I gave this one a little like suspender strap too. Originally it was gonna be green But then I changed my mind last minute. So it, it ended up being yellow, but you know what? I still think it's like really cute I gave the character just basic like kind of high top sneakers uh, in the black white and red scheme That's just kind of basic horror um, Reminiscent of like Jason for the 13th kind of stuff. Uh, I gave your character a knife. It literally could be related back to anyone, but if I had to name someone Michael Myers, I gave you a little skull earring to tie more skulls into the design because you said to keep the skull motif, but the only skull you had in your original design was on the belt buckle, so I wanted to fit the like skeleton skull thing in just a little bit more than you did. I gave you a mask, which once again could be tied back to any killer or if you want to be dramatic, dream from SMP, whatever the fuck. Uh, <laughs> That's what the mask is. Uh, but this is not what the point of the mask is because it's supposed to be a reference to like horror movies and stuff like that. That's kind of the only detail I'm a little iffy about. Like if you took that out, I wouldn't be offended even remotely. Um, and then there's the cape, which um, is kind of reminiscent of like the Scream outfit. You know, um, I don't know if his name is actually Scream. Oh my god, editing Ren here. I didn't want to have to jump in again and re-record something, but the fucker's name is Ghostface, and I am so disappointed in myself for not knowing that. So yeah, I'm talking about Ghostface here. Uh, his outfit's like the, the black uh, cloak, essentially, and then the white iconic mask. But I want, I just, I thought the cloak looked really nice on the character. I thought those, those two things go really well together. I didn't change up much about the hair. I thought it was a good hairstyle. I just wanted to make the blue and purple uh, more prominent. So I, instead of having it just at like the bottom, I made it like the full kind of ends of the hair. And then lastly, to tie in um, a bit of the, the blue and purple into the design because I realized really late into this that the design was mostly red and black and yellow and that the blue and purple didn't really make sense in the design. I just gave your characters some makeup to kind of like make their eyes pop a little bit more and to make those colors make just a little bit more sense in the design. Um, overall, I'm really happy with the way this one came out. It was super fun to work on. It's definitely leaning into the horror thing that you said, so I don't I don't know if this matches your personality at all but i i personally love it and if you don't keep this outfit watch me use it for one of my own characters because damn it's so cute Next up, we have a submission from Terrifically Lesbian, and uh, their character's name is Handy. Their character's pronouns are she, they, and they are an anxious clusterfuck that can't hold anything because they shake so much and cry 24-7. They are just a big baby. Um, I was told to keep the hand tail and the bluish color palette, and I was told that the character is overall edgy, which that one threw me for some fucking reason. I started working on the design, and I had a really good direction where I was going with it after I got through the first initial sketch phases, and then I was like, oh shit. When I got to like the color palette, I was like, this character's supposed to be edgy, but blue isn't something I typically associate with edgy. So I'm like, crap so i had to like 
do mental gymnastics trying to figure out what colors I was supposed to do. Like dead ass, the hardest part about this redesign was the colors. I knew what I was gonna do with the tail, I knew what I was gonna do with the hair, and I liked the accessories I came up with, but when it came to coloring this monster, oof, it was just a big F. So let's start off by saying this. I really did not like the color palette on the character that you gave me. I think it is a little ugly. Uh, I hate the like lime greenish tan coat that the character originally had. It does not match the teal on the tail or the blue in the hair or the purple on the paws. I just noticed the purple on the paws. What? <laughs> what is happening in this character design? Um, yeah, no, so I, I needed to fix that. But you wanted to go blue, which is interesting because the only blue in the original design was in the ears and the hair. But I was like, okay, I can work with blue. So what I ended up going with and you'll eventually I'll get there in the footage don't worry um but what I ended up going with is a dark neutral blue as the fur pattern or not the fur pattern the fur tone to to be like the edgy part of it because darker colors typically read edgier so I went with a neutral uh kind of dark blue for the coat with a neutral little bit lighter blue for the patterns and markings that I did which were also kind of difficult to decide I really liked what I came up with in the end I really like what I did with the back paws and the front paws and you'll see that uh, later too I kept the two little streaks from the eyes from the original design the best I could and um oh yeah I should have mentioned this at the start I had no idea what species your character was I I was stuck between are they a dog or are they a fennec fox and I could not decide which I liked more I ended up going with fennec fox so I hope you don't mind um that's why I did like the big anxiety baby ears it I'm sure it doesn't look exactly like a fennec fox but that's the way I leaned in this design. Uh, just, just so you know, because I had no idea what species the character was. I'm so sorry. For the hair, I just went with a neutral blue, a little bit darker than the original one. And then I used a deep purple on a multiply layer to get that like really rich blue at the end of the hair and the tail. Uh, as a final detail, I used uh, like a almost white, like a just off white light blue to add stars onto the design, like little freckles and stuff on the upper arms and on like the ass area and then at the end of the hair and then at the end of the hand. The teal accents are actually pulled directly from the original design from the tail because I thought that was actually a really pretty color and I thought that it would pop off of all the rich and dark blues I was using and that was 100% the right move to make because I think it looks so good in contrast and and yeah I, I don't have too much more to say about this character. Like I said the real frustration came from the color palette, but I, I hope you like the direction I took this character in. It doesn't look too much like the original, but I think that it's better it is the only way I can describe it. So I hope you love it. Our last redesign for this video is actually my own character, and this is because I ended up doing five redesigns in total, the four for other people, and then I was like, I want to make it five, but I didn't want to work with anyone else's characters. I'm like, I want to do something for myself. So I redesigned my own character. Like so someone on my server was like, hey, I'm selling my OCs, and I went and I looked and I saw this character that looked stunningly like a character I play in League of Legends called Seraphine, and their name was like Seraphina or something like it was so close so I picked up the character and I redesigned her in this video to just be Seraphine from League of Legends. <laughs> I don't know exactly what to say about this character because she's just Seraphine but for those of you who don't know who Seraphine is she is a singer slash songwriter in the universe of League of Legends. She worked with KDA which some of you might know more than League things because KDA is like the League uh, K-pop group. She worked with them, did a big class collab with them. Oh, she's oh she's so cute. She has this Twitter account that she was actively posting on in like 2020 and god fuck when the world needed her most. I need her most. She should come back right now and start posting again because I miss her. Her posts were so cute and I loved all the pictures she uploaded and she was just such a sweetheart. So yeah, like I mentioned, I used this OC that I got from somebody else as essentially the base for the design. I end up going a little bit far. There's not a ton that's similar with the base design versus 
what I ended up coming up with. But you know what? I think that's okay because I supported another artist by buying from them and also comma I got something that I really liked. So a few things that I want to mention about the design that I particularly like are the golden horn, the golden wings that are reminiscent of the wings she has in her KDA skin. Uh, they're like blue crystals in her KDA skin but I wanted this design to be based off of her original design but I still wanted her to have those things so I just made them gold to match everything else. I gave her a little bit of her gloves on the front hoop. So you can kind of see that in one of the reference pictures how it's got like the gold bands and then like the spiky bits from the gloves so I, I added those in and then I think my favorite touch is the golden little arches on her um, hind legs that are reminiscent of the McDonald's M because if you've ever played Seraphine you would know that she like sings a lot in League of Legends and one of the things she sings I swear to god is just ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And it's, it's just the McDonald's theme and I fucking love that and I do that every time I'm around a Seraphine because it gets to me but I think her actual line is something like making it up as a go ba -ba -da -bee -ba. but that's so close to ba -da -ba -ba -ba. that I had to include it in my own design because I it's such an inside joke at this point I had to uh, besides that I gave the white skin tone a bit of a pink gradient I used some darker pink in the hooves to make them pop and then of course you cannot forget get her classic sparkles. Typically, she always has a blue star on her left cheek, but I decided to go kind of extra with the sparkles and added a bunch of them. But yeah, no, typically, as you can see in the reference picture, she's just got the singular star, but I added extra sparkles because I thought they were very pretty and they popped out on the character and I love her so much. And yeah, I don't have too much to say about this. This is just me kind of gushing about Seraphine and how much I love her, but she turned out so cute, didn't she? Oh, I love her so much much. So yeah, that wraps us up for today. I had so much fun working on all of these. It was a pleasure doing this again. I'm sorry I hadn't done one in a while. I kind of went through an art block with COVID and there was that whole series on my channel where I forgot how to draw just like dead ass. And uh, yeah, but I had a ton of fun. I can't wait to do this again. If you would like to be featured in one of these videos, please go ahead and join my Discord server and wait for the next time that I ask for submissions. I promise I'll do it again soon, but you are going to want to be there because otherwise you'll miss it. Big Patreon shout out to my $10 pledge sticks and my $60 pledge, like holy shit, what a flex, like literally putting the flex in flexicarta, flexicarta. <laughs> um, I love you both so, so much. Thank you so, so much for the support. A badge will be coming out for you soon, but I have to get the money first because Patreon's kind of mean, but yeah, anyways, Thank you so much for supporting me. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all next time. Love you so much. Bye.